Hey Trail Riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. I hope you guys are doing well. The scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year is Job 9, 1 through 10, 22, Psalm 104, 10 through 15, Proverbs 21, 10 and 11, and 1 Corinthians 3, 16 through 4, 13. Today we're going to be talking about body and soul united. And our focal passage is going to come from 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 16 and 17, which says, don't you yourselves know that you are God's sanctuary and that the Spirit of, the, of God lives in you? God's sanctuary is holy, and that is what you are. Many centuries of understanding have brought about division between the body and the soul. This division is an evidence uh, in some parts of the church today. Jesus, however, did not see the body as something to be ignored but as something to be used and he said you prepared a body for me Hebrews 10 5 his body and soul were attuned he neither neglected his body nor pampered it but offered it as a vehicle of God's will and purpose and he kept it fit for God there is no mention of his ever being sick, tired, yes, but never ill. It is accepted today that the body and the soul are, in, are a unity, that a sick soul can produce a sick body, just as a healthy spirit contributes to a healthy body. It also works the other way around. A healthy body can contribute a good emotional and mental health. We Christians tend to overemphasize the spiritual side of life while underestimating the importance of physical facts like body chemistry, weather, water, air pollution, and nutrition. But through ignorance uh, Of the way, but through ignorance of the way in which the body and the soul are related, we succeed in tearing them apart. I believe what is said about the husband and the wife in a marriage service uh, can also be applied to the body and the soul. Therefore, what God has joined together, man must not separate. Matthew 19, verse 6. A good pianist may be able to get a lot out of a poor instrument, but he cannot give full expression to the music if the piano is out of tune. You cannot ignore the physical if you want to stay spiritually fresh. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, help us to see that our body is something over which not to be offended, but something to be offered. Give us a balanced understanding of this matter so that we can be at our best for you, spirit, soul, and body. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey guys, for further study on this, look at 1 Kings chapter 19, Romans 8, 11, and 1 Corinthians 13, 16, or 3, 16. And keep these two questions in mind. What was part of Elijah's problem? And two, how did the angel minister to Elijah? God bless you guys. I hope you'll continue to follow me here on the Daily Ride. And I'll see you on the next trail ride.